Hello viewers, welcome to HMS Desk. Today, let's explore the world of in vitro fertilization, IVF. IVF is a widely used fertility treatment that helps individuals and couples overcome various infertility challenges and fulfill their dreams of starting a family. It involves combining eggs and sperm in a laboratory to facilitate fertilization, followed by the transfer of the resulting embryos into the uterus. Let's take a step-by-step -step journey through the IVF process. Step 1. Ovarian Stimulation The first step in IVF is ovarian stimulation. The woman undergoes hormone therapy, usually through daily injections, to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs instead of the usual single egg in a menstrual cycle. Regular monitoring through ultrasound scans and blood tests helps determine the optimal time for egg retrieval. Step 2. Egg retrieval Once the eggs reach maturity, a minor surgical procedure called egg retrieval is performed. Under sedation or anesthesia, a thin needle is guided through the vaginal wall using ultrasound imaging to collect the eggs from the ovaries. The procedure takes around 20-30 minutes and is usually well tolerated. Step 3. Sperm collection and preparation On the same day as the egg retrieval, the male partner provides a semen sample, which is prepared in the laboratory. Sperm washing and preparation techniques are employed to isolate high-quality sperm for fertilization. Step 4. Fertilization in the laboratory, the eggs and sperm are combined in a specialized dish or test tube. Fertilization can occur through two methods, conventional insemination, where the eggs and sperm are placed together in the dish, or intracytoplasmic sperm injection, ICSI, where a single sperm is directly injected into each mature egg. The fertilized eggs, now called embryos, are cultured in the laboratory for several days. Step 5. Embryo transfer The embryos are carefully selected based on their quality and developmental stage. The selected embryos are then transferred into the woman's uterus through a thin catheter, guided by ultrasound imaging. The procedure is usually painless and does not require anesthesia. The number of embryos transferred depends on various factors, including the woman's age and medical history. Step 6. Embryo implantation Following the embryo transfer, the woman enters the two-week waiting period, during which she may take hormonal medications to support embryo implantation. If successful, the embryo implants into the uterine lining, leading to pregnancy. Step 7. Pregnancy test and monitoring Approximately two weeks after the embryo transfer, a pregnancy test is conducted to determine if the IVF cycle was successful. If pregnancy is achieved, regular monitoring and follow-up appointments with the fertility specialist will be scheduled to ensure the health and progress of the pregnancy. It is important to note that the IVF process may vary slightly from one fertility clinic to another and can be tailored to meet individual needs and circumstances. At HMS Desk, we understand the emotional and physical journey involved in IVF and the importance of compassionate care. Our team works closely with renowned fertility specialists and modern fertility centers to provide comprehensive support and personalized treatment throughout the entire IVF process. If you are considering IVF as a fertility treatment option, don't hesitate to reach out to HMS Desk. We are committed to assisting you on your path to parenthood and providing access to exceptional fertility care. For more information, visit our website at hmsdesk.com or email us at support at hmsdesk.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our channel to stay updated with the latest healthcare information. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to being a part of your journey towards building a family through IVF.